Hey everybody, by request a user messaged me on how to get the log off option in the start menu on Windows 95. But as you see, the only way you can log off on Windows 95 is you go to start, shut down, close all programs and log on as a different user. But there's a better way you can do that. All you're going to need is a download Internet Explorer 4 with Service Pack 2. Link will be down in the description. And I'm going to show you how the reason why we're going to be installing Internet Explorer 4 on Windows 95. And as you see, this is Internet Explorer 3.0 because that's that comes with Windows 95 OS R2. And this is what that's what I'm actually using. But I'm going to show you how to get Windows desktop update if you're using on Windows 95 and you can do this with Windows NT 4.0 as well so we're going to go ahead and launch the setup folder and we're going to go to where it says IE4 setup and we're going to go to hit next and we're going to accept the license agreement And we're going to do a full installation. And we're going to hit next. And it's going to ask you this option Windows Desktop Update. Would you like to install it? And we're going to go ahead and click yes. And we're going to sele select your country. We're in the United I'm in the United States. So we're going to hit next. Hit next again. It's going to start the setup. Please note you can even get Windows Desktop Update if you're using. Internet Explorer 5.5 or or Internet Explorer 5.0, which I mean to say Internet Explorer 5.5 or Internet Explorer 5. But there's a little modification you have to do with the setup files if you have the full installer of Internet Explorer. It might come standard if you're using Windows 95C. So yeah and what Windows desktop update is going to include a quick launch bar and a new Windows Explorer button and um, it's going to even give you a new t start menu and a new system shell it's going to give it that Windows 98 feel so as you see just put an icon for Outlook Express and you can disable the quick launch if you don't like the quick launch bar and, and you can even do this with Internet Explorer 6 on Windows NT4 So we're going to go ahead and click OK to restart. Right. While that's restarting, um, uh, like, like I was saying, you can, um, if you're going to use Windows Desktop Update, do not use Windows 95 Plus add-on. The regular Plus for Windows 95 add-on because it can't handle desktop themes as well. But the only plus pack that will work without no issues if you're using like plus for kids. Because it has like a newer version of desktop themes. So if you're going to use Windows 95 plus. I would be I would do it on a separate virtual machine. And, um, and you won't have no issues. Or you can. If you're going to do it also on plus if you're doing a separate virtual machine with plus for Windows 95 I would um, upgrade to Internet Explorer 5 first actually Internet Explorer 5.5 with Service Pack 2 then install plus for Windows 95 so you won't have no issues so we're going to go ahead and log back in and show you how it looks setting up everything from the 
since we um, rebooted. And this will give Windows 95 like a modern look. Just like how you install those if you have that unofficial service pack for Windows 98 to make it more like a Windows 2000 feel. So here it is. It should be loading up, and I'm, I even installed Virtual PC 2004 editions just to get Windows 95 running smoothly. And you could install older versions of Windows in VirtualBox, but the drivers are kind of hard to come by. See, this is what it looks like. Let's go to start. See right there now you have it. The log off option is now fully available. And um, I hope this helped you out and talk to you guys later. Bye.